Welcome everybody, here's another episode of Hacking Google Slides. In this episode, we're talking about how to make things pop. And so, in Google Slides here, what I've done is, in a blank uh, presentation, I've got a picture I want to put in, to serve as a background. I'm just going to drop it in as a, a paste it, but I could have put it in as a background image. I'm going to put send, send this thing to the back. <clears throat> and now I can see here is some text. <clears throat> and let's say I want to say, <clears throat> Talk about going on a vacation. So, all right, need a vacation in question mark. And want to be able to demonstrate how to be able to make this text pop from the background that's there. So, right now we just have basically two elements we got an image and we have uh, uh, a title box or a text box. And there's some limitations with this because if you know that, you know, if I have a dark text, it would be a challenge if I put that down here and put it on a dark background. And so you, that means you'll have to ultimately try to find an image uh, that there'll be contrast on. So I'm going to get around that by not using uh, text boxes at all. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to put in word art. And so write the same thing. So need a vacation question mark. And now you can see this is a little bit different. Um, well, first off, the color is different, but there's an, there's an outline on the outside or what's referred to as a stroke or an outline. As I move that around, I'm going to put it up kind of where I want to be able to see that. How can I change that? I'm going to flip that back over to black, but instead of changing the text color, this is now an, an object. So I'm going to change the fill color to black. And now the pencil or this line color, I can change that as well. So let's, I'm going to do that to a contrast level like that. So now you can see this pops a fair amount. It, although it is an object, I can change it like a normal um, uh, text box. So let's pick something a little bit more vacation-y. How about that? Uh, be careful when you when you resize your um, uh, word arts that if you do not grab them by the by the right handle, if you do grab them by the corners, you can really uh, mess up the aspect ratio. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hold Shift and drag from the corners, and that's going to allow me to keep that aspect ratio. And so the nice part now is you can see if I can drag the black down here, it pops a little bit more. Um, uh, and also, let's say, well, now down here on the bottom, you say, okay, it does uh, stand out a little bit, but not quite as much. Well, if I go back up next to the pencil icon is the line weight. And if I click on here, that is only a one point stroke around the outside. I can change that to things that are higher. There's three points, three pixels, here's four. And you can start to see as we get higher, we're gonna start to get a problem. Like, let me jump to eight. Now it becomes unreadable. So this uh, shows a way you can be able to play around with um, some of these uh, um, fill color and uh, line color to be able to kind of make things pop. Now I want to show you another step here too. So let's say I'm going to get rid of this. Let's get, uh, let's just say transparent. I'm going to have none of it on there. I'm going to change the color to white. Sometimes I want, no, don't necessarily want a stroke to go around all of the text. I just want it to pop a little bit by having a drop shadow. Now Google Slides does not have a drop shadow option, but there's a way to be able to hack that. So watch this. I'm going to take this word art. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it so I have two of them. So here they are. There's one on top of another. Now I'm going to take this one, the one that is behind it, change that color to black and I've created a shadow. There, There's two of them. And I can see as I move this thing around, I can start to, and I'm going to use my key, uh, the cursor keys and try to nudge it around to be able to kind of create a drop shadow. And then here's another uh, tip too just by using the cursor keys, uh, moves it uh, to sort of a larger nudge. But if I hold the shift button with one hand and then use the cursor keys, that allows me to nudge one pixel at a time. And that really can kind of give me the fine um, details that I'm, I'm looking for to be able to kind of create that, that drop shadow approach. So let me click outside and see what that looks like. Nice, so now that does have a definite more of a pop on that thing. Now that shadow effect can work with anything too. So uh, it can work with images. So let me show you a fun little tip here. I love Bitmojis. I'm going to have a Bitmoji extension um, in my Chrome as well here too. So when I click on my Bitmojis, uh, these are these characters that you can create, uh, a view, uh, make them look like you. So I'm going to take this particular one. I'm going to copy and paste that. So now here's this me responding to the need of vacation. Let me move the need of vacation a little bit here. Let's put this up here like this so my character can stand there. Now, this is all about hacking and making something pop. How can I make this Bitmoji guy pop? I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Copy. 
and paste. Now here's two of my Bitmojis. Now I can't go to the fill color on this back one. Well, how will I change that? Ha ha, check this out right here, image options. When I click on that, now I can recolor it or make things transparent. I want you to play with this tool right here, the brightness level. As I bring my brightness down, you can start to see it changes color. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the, the bottom, make it 100% black. And now grab the top one and nudge him until I can create that drop shadow effect that I want. And again, doing shift allows me to get it to kind of where I want. So now I got two different uh, uh, elements on top of my beach uh, picture about needing a vacation and the answer being yes. So anyway, so thanks for listening. This is Hacking Google Slides, making things pop.